All right, and then let's look last at an intracranial hematoma, and that would be uh, bleeding somewhere within the neuronal tissue itself. So we call that intracranial, so within the head hematoma. And the word hematoma means blood tumor. Really, it's like a very large blood clot. So sometimes if someone's been in a car accident and they need to do surgery immediately, it's to remove a clot, um, either a subdural hematoma. If it's an epidural hematoma, they might need to actually try and stop the bleeding too um, and remove that pressure from the brain. Okay, and then I, I wanted to also just uh, go over the spinal cord meninges just for a second. Uh, make, make sure you have this in your notes. So the spinal cord has the same meninges as the brain. Uh, however, it has a natural epidural space unlike the brain, that would be bad if the brain has the epidural space, that would mean that there's a bleed causing a hematoma. It has a natural epidural space that is um, perfect, <laughs> shall I say, for applying epidural anesthesia that can, it then just gets absorbed into the tissues. or other kinds of medications like a cortisone injection. Okay, and then a lumbar puncture or a spinal tap you can hear, and I'm not talking about the band, it's a great movie isn't it, Spinal Tap. Lumbar gives you an idea of how low they're doing this the spinal cord ends at L L1 or L2, and below, so let's see if we look over here, let's say this is the bottom of the spinal cord. Well, the meninges continue on after that. So let's see if we can do that. We've got the green would be the pia mater, and then, um, let's see, I used orange, right, for arachnoid mater. And then we used purple for dura mater, right? So this is the bottom of the spinal cord. Let's say L2 of spinal cord, so then it ends. And use yellow to show that there would be CSF in here, right? So in a lumbar puncture, they go in right here. And they can remove a little sample of the cerebral spinal fluid. In an epidural, what they want to do is they want to just apply uh, the medication just right here on top of the dura mater and it gets absorbed into the blood really easily from there.